The second lesson that we learn is that indiscriminate killings are a sign of desperation. We see this in how Quraysh dealt with the envoys that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would send into Mecca. You don't kill envoys and messengers. That's a no-no. But the fact that they were doing this shows that Quraysh had reached the point of desperation and frustration. They were confused. They didn't know what to do. Anyone who is coming from the Muslims, he is a target. Kill him indiscriminately. It doesn't matter whether he is coming to fight you, whether he is raising the white flag, whether it's a woman or a child. No, just kill him. And this is what we are seeing today in the way that Israel is waging this current war. Why indiscriminately target innocent women and children who don't pose any threat to you? Why? Because you are losing and you have reached the point of desperation and frustration and confusion. And so this is a good sign for us. This is a sign that they have become defeated. And it is a sign that victory for the Muslims is around the corner. فأقم وجهك للدين حنيفا فطرة الله التي فطر الناس عليها